Hello, my name is Kain the Genius, and today I'm going to take you through how to build a machine learning model in .NET. If you are a .NET developer, then you have an edge over every other person that is learning machine learning without being a .NET developer. You may have heard of people using Python and TensorFlow to build machine learning model. I also did the same thing, but I tell you, if you are a .NET developer, you can actually do the same thing in .NET. You don't need to learn something else like TensorFlow or Keras or, or any other model or Jupyter Notebook. This, these are really difficult to use compared to what you already know. So you have uh, an, an edge. You can easily understand uh, how the model works and understand machine learning at large. We are happy that Microsoft added ML.NET to the .NET framework. ML.NET uh, okay, let's go to the first one. What actually is ML.NET? And these are the steps you are going to follow. I'm going to take you through this step and then we go to Visual Studio, open Visual Studio and then follow these steps exactly and build a model that will be used to make prediction. All right. So don't skip these steps because it's good to understand the steps. This is the same steps applied in Python. In, in whatever other machine learning model by Google or every other place, this is the steps you follow. If you understand this, then it's easy for you to even learn Python and uh, TensorFlow very easily. Uh, but the main thing is understand these steps. These are basic steps uh, universally. Everyone follows uh, to build machine learning models. So uh, if you want to learn more subscribe to the channel click on subscribe so that you get notified when i make new lessons also leave a comment if you have something you don't understand uh, that is not clear to you uh, leave a comment below all right so let's get started uh, what is ml.net ml.net is a microsoft tool for creating machine learning model i've already told you this um is it works with visual studio and you can use it with uh, C Sharp programming language, F Sharp, or v Visual Basic .NET. But in this tutorial, we are going to use uh, uh, C Sharp. If you are a .NET developer, uh, you can ease into machine learning without having to learn frameworks like TensorFlow. What you do is simply add this package ML.NET using NuGet Package Man Manager. You add ML.NET to your Visual Studio solution. So step one, uh, take note of the steps. Step one, obtain your data set. And there is a place you can get data set. Uh, this place is called UCI Machine Learning Repository. So UCI Machine Learning Repository is free. A uh, whole lot of data sets uh, for uh, several types of data set that you can use. So for this tutorial, we will use the iris data this iris data you can learn about it from this link um, i'm not going to spend time on it but you can learn about this the iris data this is the link so this is the attribute information and the class information i'm going to talk more about it uh, a little later so here you can download the data site so if you go to this place you have this data site uh, downloaded and you can uh, you can save it to your system. I've already downloaded this data site and saved it to my system. So the next thing is to understand the data site. Uh, that is one important thing. You understand the data site. If you don't understand the data site, then it will be difficult. First, what do we need this data site for? We need this data site to train the model. Remember, in machine learning, we are teaching the system how to learn. We are making the system learn so that if it says something new, it will be able to predict. Let me give you an example. Uh, you show the system uh, uh, pictures of cars, right? You show a uh, picture of cars, different types of cars. So after you've shown the, the system the picture of cars, it understands what cars is. So when it sees a new car, it will be able to recognize it. So the, the, the data set is simply a collection of cars, let's put it that way, or a collection of data that the system have to examine and understand what it looks like so that if we see something else a different time, it will be able to know what it is and make prediction. 
In our case, we have the iris data set. I uh, just like to show you how the data set looks like. In a tabular form, we have, let's say, length, length one, length two, width one, width two. So these are records. So they have attributes. Uh, so this is the class, or let's say category is in this last column so based on these attributes you'll be able to predict what the category is is it a car is it a bike is it a bus is it a trailer is it a truck in this case we are not talking about cars we are talking about iris a, a kind of plant so based on the length of the sepal called sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width these are the four attributes then the system will be able to predict what category of iris it belongs. So the data site contains record of four attributes. These attributes are called features. They are called what? Well, they are called features. And the last one, which is the class, is actually the class or the label, right? So you are using the attributes or the features to predict the class or the label. This is called classification in machine learning. Remember, we have in machine learning, we have classification and what? And regression. Classification and regression. So these two are under supervised learning. So we also have unsupervised learning. So you can check out my blog when I explain these uh, branches of AI, so of machine learning. So we have AI, we have machine learning, under machine learning we have supervised learning, we have unsupervised learning, under supervised learning we have classification and regression, under unsupervised we have uh, maybe density estimation, we have uh, maybe, maybe clustering and stuff like that. All right, so this is about the data set. We have this data set and we are going to use it to solve classification problem. Uh, the first code or piece of code you are going to write is to write two classes. The first class will map to the data set. So it has all the attributes that correspond to the features or attribute of the data set. The second class will have just one column representing the category or the class the particular object belongs. The next thing is to create a pipeline. What is a pipeline? A pipeline is a set of classes in ML.NET. So a pipeline is a set of classes provided inside MS.NET that allow you to load external data, be it a cell sheet, CSV, or text file. Transform this data after loading, you transform and then uh, you train the model. So a, a pipeline is provided to do this. So how to create a pipeline is to simply declare a new pipeline, declare the data path where the, your data is located, and then you are good to go. The next thing is to transform the data. I'm not going to say much about this, but this means in one way you need to use uh, transform the, the, this, the, the labels, which are actually uh, uh, strings, to numeric values because in training of machine learning models numeric values are used don't worry we are going to do this step by step in visual studio after we go through uh, this uh, brief presentation so this is pipeline you add dictionaryizer you are taking the label which is a string and you are changing it to uh, numeric values so this is what does that then all the features are concatenated into one big string and that is what is handled by column concatenator combining all the features or attributes into one string so in this way it's called data transformation you transform your data the next thing you do is add a learning algorithm if you have taken some course in neural network you find out that you always need a learning algorithm so learning algorithm there are different types one for classification is different from the one for clustering or for 
to carry out other kind of machine learning scenario. In this case, we want to do classification and the model, we are, the algorithm we are going to use is a stochastic uh, dual coordinate classifier. Don't worry about this very strange name. Uh, it's simply uh, a class in ML.net. Then we convert back. Remember, we converted from test to numeric and this we convert back. So don't worry about this. Uh, it's, it's, it's not something you need to memorize, except that uh, when we start working with it, you see that uh, it becomes clear. So after this, you train your model. So after creating the model, you simply call the train method of the pipeline. So you see pipeline.train and uh, it takes a few seconds depending on the volume of the data to actually train the model. Then after that, you can now test it. So you can give it new sets of attributes. So these are new set of attributes and allow it to make prediction to say which class does this uh, set belongs. Don't worry, we are going to do this uh, in the system and then I show you exactly how it works and then the output will look something like this. I'm going to explain this uh, as we do it um, in real time. So here it says after looking at the attributes uh, passed in, it now gave vesic iris vesicolor is the prediction it made based on the training it received. All right, so let's go to the fun stuff. Let's go to Open Visual Studio and then start working uh, uh, in, in Accents. Remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed. 